run my video once more and when you come to this image pause it and grab the screen. You can do this if you're using Windows by hitting the print screen button. It's usually sort of top right hand corner of your keyboard somewhere. But I'm running a Mac and if you're running a Mac it's uh, shift key plus control plus three and that will put an image on your desktop. Well, save this image and you can print it out. You can move it to your photos or whatever. You can print this. And we use this as a template for our device. I've cut mine out of quarter inch acrylic. Um, anything up to three eighths, quarter to three eighths this is absolutely fine, I think you'll find. Cut it out very carefully. This is not exactly critical, but uh, you do have to watch a couple of points. You'll want one of these, and you'll need two of these, and you'll need one of those. Okay. These holes, here and here, those three, are seven thirty seconds. And those two are an eighth. You will need three bolts to go through here, and I suggest you use stainless steel with a stiff nut. If you can't find a stiff nut to go with the bolts, put some uh, Loctite or something on them. But do not, do not tighten up these nuts and bolts because we want them loose. If you tighten them up, you'll squeeze these pieces together and they'll fall, and you don't want that to happen. This piece sits here and it spaces these two apart. I have added a couple of layers of masking tape just to give me a little extra clearance if you haven't got masking tape, duct tape or something like this. You may have to experiment a little bit. Please note that this piece, when assembled, here and here, pivot here and here. And as a result, the one that moves away travels in an arc. So we need to slightly reduce this here, just far away. And when this one moves that way, that also moves in an arc. So we need to increase that distance there to that distance there. So that's pretty straightforward. You can get a, a broom handle or a wooden handle. And if you're cutting this from 3 8 or a quarter, then cut a slot, three eighths or a quarter, down the end of the handle and then put it on here and uh, with it on drill two holes here that you can attach this to your handle. I think that's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions of course you can uh, let me know in the comments. This has been an absolute godsend and suits my needs beautifully. It's ideal for a speedy and quick mooring pickup. You should have no problems in achieving the same results. However, I am working on an upgraded design suitable for commercial manufacture based on CNC technology. Yeah, you did hear me right. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. It goes without saying, of course, that I'm always open to offers. Thanks for your company, guys. See you soon.